Okay, let's start this video with a picture. Right here, you're looking at another galaxy discovered by the James Webb that kind of, sort of, violates a lot of current physics when it comes to galactic formation, or at least violates modern understanding of how galaxies might have formed early on. In other words, James Webb just discovered another impossible galaxy. But I think at this point, it's not even surprising anymore. So far, James Webb had made so many incredible discoveries, and quite a lot of them seem to be rewriting textbooks as we speak. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. And today we're going to discuss even more discoveries from the James Webb that once again maybe don't actually make sense, at least for now. But we'll actually discuss a couple of discoveries, with at least one of them kind of making sense, and possibly showing us how our own galaxy, the Milky Way, developed billions of years ago. But before we start, let's I guess go a few months back to November of 2023. This was just a few months ago from when I'm making this video, but back then we discussed a galaxy known as Sears 2112. A galaxy whose light took approximately 11.7 billion years to reach us, and a galaxy that though appeared to be relatively normal, turned out to be really surprising because it contained signs of a bar in the middle. In other words, this was a spiral galaxy with a central bar right in the middle. And though it might not be surprising today, for such an old galaxy, this was actually a really, really surprising discovery. This implied that bars might have existed billions of years before we thought they were possible. With previous assumptions suggesting that bars should not have existed for at least 5 more billion years, this discovery from just a few months ago definitely raised a few eyebrows. Here it was very difficult to explain how such a structure could form so early and how exactly this galaxy was formed to begin with. But it only took a few more months to discover what we have now, something that's even more mysterious. A galaxy referred to as JWST 7329, a galaxy at a relatively similar distance to the previous one. The light here traveled for about 11.5 billion years. But what's intriguing about this discovery is actually how advanced and how extremely massive this galaxy is compared to anything else we've seen. First of all, it seems to contain at least four times as many stars as our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And in this case, all of the stars seem to be approximately 1.5 billion years old, suggesting that the galaxy is approximately 13 billion years old. Now here it doesn't actually violate any laws yet, and it doesn't break any physics. As a matter of fact, it does suggest that the Big Bang still stands. But the problem here is the formation. How did it form so quickly and grow so big in such a short time? For example, according to modern models involving dark matter and cosmic web, all of this should have taken a much longer time, since the universe very likely started much smoother and eventually became more condensed with dark matter eventually forming larger and larger patches and forming larger and larger clusters. All of this would have taken billions of years to form in order to form clumps large enough to produce massive galaxies like the Milky Way. Actually, the main problem here is hydrogen. It would take at least a few billion years for all of this hydrogen to clump into a large enough environment to start forming these huge galaxies like the ones we see today. Or I guess that's the old model. That's the model that we always believed based on various computer simulations and based on the cosmological interpretations before James Webb became operational. But this galaxy kind of breaks all of this. It really should not exist with the properties we're observing. Galaxies around this time should really be more disordered, more clumpy, extremely active, producing a lot of stars and a lot of light, and generally lack complexity. They should be basically very chaotic. Yet here we have this extremely orderly galaxy, practically resembling the Milky Way, containing a huge amount of stars already, but even more intriguingly, actually quiescent. It doesn't seem to be active and it does not seem to produce a lot of light. In other words, this is technically a dead galaxy. A galaxy that stopped active star formation, but during the period where most galaxies were producing a lot of stars. This is actually during the cosmic noon. And so the question here is of course, how such a large galaxy, such a complex galaxy, and more importantly, a galaxy that stopped producing stars, could form so quickly, so early on. At the moment, this really makes no sense in terms of modern theories. And there is really no explanation for what stopped its formation and what exactly stopped the star development. Why is this galaxy now dead and is no longer producing stars? 
Normally, in most galaxies, this is possibly due to some kind of a black hole activity or possibly tidal stripping from a nearby galaxy, but here the black hole seems to be relatively mild and we don't really see a lot of partners nearby, with galaxies visible in the image actually being much closer to us. Which means that right now this galaxy is completely unexplainable using modern cosmological models. But it also implies that our current models of dark matter and the cosmic web might be incomplete or maybe even completely incorrect. Because it's quite clear that this galaxy was able to develop really quickly and was able to get enough gas from somewhere at least 5 billion years before we thought it was possible. And so basically somehow it was able to grow in just 1.5 billion years, developing extremely quickly and forming its current complex shape in just a fraction of time. And though it is possible that maybe it was just in some kind of a super super condensated, super large chunk of dark matter that contained a lot of gas in the middle, making this some kind of a rare exception, not really a rule, since there are no other clues and no other evidence, at the moment nobody knows. But it definitely changes our understanding of how we always believed dark matter helped the universe evolve. It basically suggests that many of these computer simulations, such as the one you see right here, known as the Illustris project, might be just a little bit too simple and seem to lack something in them in order to explain these very early galaxies that seem to be extremely complex much sooner than anything else. Now right now we basically only discovered two, one with a galactic bar and one that's extremely massive and contains a lot of stars, but these two galaxies are enough to start asking a lot of questions. Questions about the standard model of cosmology and specifically questions about dark matter and how various galaxies like the Milky Way formed in the universe so early on. But obviously this is just two objects for now. Hopefully we'll find more, but at the moment this is really more of an exception, definitely not the rule and definitely not something we observe everywhere. As a matter of fact, the additional observation from just a few days ago does actually provide us with a lot of evidence for how various galaxies like the Milky Way might have formed around the same time when we expect them to form. And this is actually observations from even farther away. Here the light took 13 billion years to reach us because this is at the redshift of 8.3. And what we're seeing in this image are literally tiny pieces of a large galaxy, specifically star clusters, in this case at least 10 separate clusters, that seem to be slowly growing into a large galaxy through the process of merger. And here they actually found several galaxies at this distance that basically contain a kind of a network of really massive star clusters that show us how these early galaxies developed and how they grew in size. But more importantly, all of this kind of meets our expectations based on the modern cosmological ideas. This is kind of what we expect from a Milky Way-like galaxy early on and how we believe our galaxy grew as well. And so during this early star formation when it was extremely rich in gas and contained a lot of early stars, this young galaxy potentially combined a lot of clusters ranging in mass from 200,000 to possibly 600,000 solar masses. It's actually something that you can see right here in the Illustris simulation as well, and it's basically something that was always predicted but just never observed. And so in this case we seem to get a lot of supportive evidence for modern cosmological ideas when it comes to galactic development and evolution. And intriguingly, a lot of the stars formed in this case seem to have gone through a kind of a burst of star formation around the same time. This might have happened because of some kind of a galactic interaction or a galactic collision and was possibly caused by one of the partners you see right here. In this case, the scientists decided to give them somewhat cute names, Firefly Best Friend and Firefly New Best Friend, basically two other galaxies potentially causing star formation in the main galaxy referred to as the Firefly. And so the central galaxy known as the Firefly Sparkle is most likely a progenitor to galaxies very similar to the Milky Way, essentially showing us some of the earliest stages just 600 million years after the Big Bang. And here the researchers were even able to calculate the temperature, suggesting that some of these clusters are really hot, 40,000 Celsius, 72,000 Fahrenheit, with many of these stars being very primitive and extremely poor in metals, basically mostly containing hydrogen and helium. Once again, something that's kind of expected. But I guess the more intriguing question here is, what do we think happened to these clusters later on? Did they remain in the galaxy or did they change into something else? Well, in this case, it's believed that most of these clusters, because of various tidal interactions, 
are actually going to eventually fall apart, in essence forming the galactic stellar disk and the halo of the galaxy. And so it's quite unlikely that any of these clusters are going to survive for 13 billion years. But some might. Because we know that our galaxy contains a few clusters that are at least 13 billion years old. Either way, a super exciting observation and, unlike previous discovery, a direct confirmation of what we believe about the Milky Way and how early galaxies like the Milky Way potentially formed. Which I guess means that we shouldn't really be throwing away our physics textbooks just yet. Maybe, just maybe, this is actually the correct model, and this right here might be just a very rare exception. But don't forget, it's only been like two years, actually even less than two years, since James Webb became operational, and so chances are we're going to be discovering even more in two years from now. And that means that you should probably subscribe, because we'll be talking more about various discoveries and various really surprising discoveries in some of the future videos as well. Until then, thank you for watching, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.